welcome back to the butter bean shop megan here and i'm going to make another cold process soap for you today i am making pineapple cilantro this is a restock um it is a wonderful fragrance from Rambleberry, and it is very sweet yet it has like a really nice green fresh note to it so it's not just straight pineapple it has a green note to it which is very nice here's the bottle it's all gone see all gone and i'm gonna be doing a drop swirl today um so i'm going to use tangerine dream by mad micas i will also use bright yellow raincoat by mad micas and then also the let us entertain you by mad micas and then also titanium dioxide for my white and like i said i'm gonna try to do a drop swirl um i've soaked with it before so this fragrance behaves very well uh i have my melted oils which is at room temperature i also have in here my additives which are colloidal oatmeal and white kale and clay I will go ahead and blend that up and then I'll add my milks which is goat milk and coconut milk and then I have my um, uh, lye solution which is aloe tested silk and sodium lactate of course sodium hydroxide which is the lye and then um, I'll blend that up to a uh, emulsion not a trace then I'll separate. I'll bring you guys back when I separate in two colors. And I'll go ahead and get started. So I have brought this up to an emulsion. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and scrape this down. I have brought this up to an emulsion and that's where the oils and the lye uh, solution combine without separating. And it, really it only takes a good maybe 45 seconds to a minute to reach that, maybe not even that long, maybe 30 seconds. Uh, to reach an emulsion and I don't I would not pour it this thin because it will probably separate but um, I do like to have time to mix my colors without having to rush um, and that's just my what I do so I don't have to rush I just bring it up to an emulsion and then I have time to mix my colors and then I'll stick blend a little bit again before I pour. So I'll go ahead and split this off.
I will add I will add my um, fragrance oil now I haven't used this fragrance oil in a while but if memory serves correctly it behaves very well so I'll go ahead and just pour this in each container and just hand mix yes and it does perform very well I don't see any rising or any acceleration it does heat up a little bit but it's not accelerating at all it's actually probably slowing down trace Okay, so, all right, so that looks really good. Oh, that orange is so pretty. All right, I'm going to take out my spatulas and get my molds. And start pouring. I love this green too. Um, now the green will brighten up after during the saponification process. But right now, it's still a pretty color green. It's just a little darker than what it will, you know, the finished result will be. I have a little bit of. We'll start pouring and I'll start with the yellow. last time I did this I used the coral color instead of the orange and I didn't really like how it turned out which is why I switched to using the orange I like the way it looks better
And there we have, oh, okay. So I'm taking my glasses off now because I think I'm safe. I don't think that anything is going to spray up and get me in the eye. Um, so I'm just gonna clean off the edges here. And then now I'm going to spray this, ah, this soap with um, Sparkle Me Gold. It's a fairy duster from Mad Micah's. And it just gives this soap a really goldy, iridescent um, finish to it. Very pretty. And I really like this soap. I like the sides. I haven't done the sides like this in a while, so. Um, yeah very nice I like it and then I'm going to spray this with 99% isopropyl alcohol and then that's it voila and we're done here is the I'll give you a close-up if I can a close-up of here's a close-up of the Pineapple cilantro soap. I'm going pretty fast, aren't I? I'm using my tripod to move, so I apologize. Okay, so there we have it. I will bring you guys back in for the cut. See you later. Hey guys, welcome back to the Butterbean Shop. Megan here, and I am going to be cutting the um, pineapple cilantro soap that I made yesterday, and I absolutely love how the um, outside of this turned out it is so yellow <laughs> and colorful it's a little sticky still but that's okay um, <clears throat> I had to put it in the refrigerator this one because it was overheating so um, it's still a little bit cold from the refrigerator but I think it's okay to cut we'll see um, I love how the um, sides of it turned out I love that um, Kind of wave on the side there that I got with that little spoon. Um, so let's get to cutting and see how we like it. Um, this fragrance is so sweet. It's very, very, very appropriate for summer. I did a drop swirl for this. Um, so yeah, let's see guys how this turned out. Um, just want to say. So let's get to cutting. Cut off that end piece there that I'll use for samples. And, um, this did stay very fluid for me. Um, it was the first time that I used this orange, so I'm really interested to see how this orange color is going to hold up in the cold process. So, um, but yeah. I see, you see how the yellow here turned really, really bright? And I think that this color is going to um, do that same thing. It's gonna um, change into that really bright yellow. At least I hope so. I'll um, put some pictures at the end to see if that happens. Um, if not, I, I like how it looks right now. I do hope that it does get brighter. So guys, you thank you so much for joining um, and watching this video and if you like what you've seen please go ahead and click the like button the thumbs up button if you would like to uh, see more of what I upload on this channel please click the subscribe button and if you want to be notified every time I upload content please click that notification bell and until next time gang See you soon.